Hey everybody, so today we're back with some CSGO. We're going to be talking about the London Major that just finished up. The Grand Finals was maybe a couple hours ago and kind of overview everything. And I'm also going to have a video coming out tomorrow uh, opening all of these sticker capsules and all that fun stuff and a couple souvenir packages. But today we're going to focus on the Major itself. I'm going to go through like the Corner Finals, Semi Finals, Grand Finals, a little bit of the Challenger stage and seeing what's up i'll show you what i got what i got wrong you know kind of see what's up i'll explain to you kind of like overall the atmosphere so let's get started get the first thing out of the way obviously astralis won it um they were pretty dominant throughout the entire major they lost i think one best of one to liquid in the group stage that's it basically everything else i don't know if they went two zero with everything else but i'm fairly sure they did so they were pretty dominant but Let's just go and go to my pickums and kind of see what I picked. Where are they at? So, yeah. Obviously, I got the gold trophy. I'm in the top 3%. That's what I ended up getting. Now, that was because I got in, in the champion stage 100%. I got a 100% champion stage. So, um, we'll go through each of these. Let's go to my group stage. So, this was my group stage. I got about half the points. And same with the challenger stage, I got about, not actually, I take that back, not even half the points. I got like a quarter of these. So I'm going to go through each of these and kind of explain my pick. And don't look at my uh, ranking. That's, uh, you know, five, uh, how many how many wins is that? Five, 500 wins in Gold Nova 2? You know, you know how it would be. But so let's go through through each of these starting with the challenger stage and if you guys haven't noticed by now this is going to be a very rambly video if you don't care about cs don't bother watching so coming into the challenger stage astralis obviously they were regarded as the number one team in the world navi as number two a lot of people would say at that point liquid was number three mile sports number four and mibr was number five and a lot of people had a lot of speculations with north somewhere in the top five or the top 10 because about a week before this was stockholm i think dreamhack stockholm i don't know what is stockholm that that and north ended up beating um or winning that tournament and i think they beat astralis in the quarters or the semis something they either beat astralis and everyone's like oh north is great now um yeah they ended up going out in the groups of this but let's just kind of go through so astralis i picked them to go three zero they lost to liquid and that was the only time that they lost throughout this entire tournament. So they did not go 3-0. And then I picked Team Spirit for 0-3. And, and they ended up winning a match. I forgot against who? I think either... I think it was Vega Squadron. No, I think they, they beat Rogue. The Rogue or Space Soldiers or Virtus Pro. One of those teams. So I, I thought... So neither of those worked out for me. And then, of course, I picked North because they, even though they won Stockholm, I knew they weren't going to win the tournament. So I put them in my, at least, I, I, I would hope, since they won Stockholm, that they would at least go through this stage. They didn't. And then Liquid, 100%, like, obviously, they're going to go through. Optic Gaming, um, I thought they might have gone through. I thought they looked pretty good. They didn't. Tai Lu, um, so a lot of these picks, I knew these, overall, majority of these teams suck. <clears throat> But I thought I was like Optic Gaming and Tai Lu, they're they're not good. But I would th I would think in my brain that they would at least beat out Renegades and Space Soldiers and um you know those types of teams. I th I think they would beat those. But there was a couple of um <clears throat> surprises and I'll kind of explain to you why these teams didn't make it through. So Tai Lu I thought would make it through, they did. Nip, I thought they would make it through because they, they looked pretty good. Made it through. Virtus Pro, um, you can never really count out Virtus Pro. You can't count them in. You can't really say anything. Virtus Pro is weird, right? Some tournaments, they come in and they plow and they make it to the semifinals. And then the most recent tournaments, they come in and they can't beat, like, Sprout. Like, so, I, I didn't know what they were going to be this tournament, so I just put them in to at least get past. And then, of course, Gambit. They won a major two or three majors ago or two majors I thought they were ma they have Hobbit and a Drain, you know they, they gotta make it past, but and Doja, um, but no, they didn't make it past. So the reason a lot of these are wrong, well, let me explain what actually happened right now, is complexity and big. 
they ended up stomping through the challengers and group stages and we'll get to that later but yes like i said um optic and north north was the biggest upset upset that didn't make it and then optic virtus pro and gambit didn't make it because complexity and big stomped through the place and i knew rogue wasn't gonna make it space soldiers they had to stand in with their coach because one of their players had visa issues i knew they weren't gonna make it renegade's not gonna make it vega was yeah i thought mega might make it um i think they did actually but so yeah overall this was kind of a bad pick but nobody really knew this was the first week you know you know how it be so now we go on to the group stage and yeah, Vegas Rogers did make it through. So now we have these teams from the Challengers, and now they're going up against people like Navi, FaZe, MIBR, G2, Fnatic, Cloud9, Windstrike, and Mouse. So I did pretty good on this overall. Liquid looked so dominant in the Challenger stage, like very, very dominant. And I said, I mean, a lot of people had the, a lot of people picked 3 0. Obviously, most majority picked Astralis for the 3 0 because everyone's riding the Astralis train. But I kind of did a wild, oh, it's not even a wild card pick, it's just liquid. It's liquid, right? So I picked that, got it right. They did go end up 3 0. And then Windstrike, um, they're they're the old Quantum Bellafor Fire from a couple tournaments ago. They're complete garbage, they haven't played in nine months, they're terrible. And most people picked them to see 3 0, and all those people got that right. Windstrike is garbage they did nothing just terrible and so now i'll kind of explain my reasoning through here so i picked fanatic you can never really count fanatic out and they still have the core of jw flusha and crims crims obviously the best player of the three but flusha has always been throughout majors and actually i'm they pulled out a slide throughout um the major the top like top 10 players of all time that performed in the major flush is on that list flusha at majors has um for the most part been very good so the fanatic lineup obviously they're not as strong as when they had the fanatic era about three years ago but they're still good so i thought they would make it through they didn't they ended up losing to who was it hellraisers yeah they ended up losing to hellraisers to go into the champion stage so hellraisers ended up making it through uh, partly because of Issa and Waxic. but yeah and then astralis i picked a lot of people pick astralis for 3-0 but i knew they probably were going to drop a map so did they lose twice then? They might have lost twice. I don't know. E either way, Astralis made it through. Big surprise. Um, Nip didn't make it through, right? Yeah, and that, that's another big surprise. So, in my opinion, the two biggest surprises were Mouse and Nip not going through. That was Mouse more than Nip. Nip was kind of shaky, but they had a really good performance. Um, but they still ended up making it out. And then Mouse, obviously, they're n people consider them the number four team. Sunny and Rops. Uh, very new players, very strong players. Everyone thought, well, they should at least make it to the champion stage or uh, get past the group stage. They didn't. They ended up, um, in my opinion, getting some really unlucky draws against like the top teams. That was unlucky for them. But yeah, they ended up making out. And then MIBR was pretty sure for at least to get out of the group stage. Same with Navi. Same with FaZe. Although FaZe came close. Um, they lost one, the first match. Lost the second and how this works with the Swiss system. If you lose three, you're eliminated. If you win three, you get passed. They went zero and two. And then they won the next three in a row. Meaning the next three people that they played, they eliminated. I know they eliminated Cloud9. Um, I forgot who else they eliminated. I'm thinking G2 or Vega. I know they, they've eliminated Vega. I don't know who eliminated G2. Um, but the biggest upsets, of course, here, uh, just like before, I made the same mistake in my uh, challengers, is complexity and big did very well complexity obviously um this is basically a meme on reddit now with yay uh he performed out of his mind and big out of nowhere with god b they showed really good tactical play they ended up making it through um so the only two that i got wrong nip and mouse even those are okay and fanatic fanatic was kind of my pick because i'm a fanatic fanboy my mouse pads fanatic and fanatic shirt whatever i like fanatic right but mouse and nip those were teams that could have gone either way, so a lot, a lot of people would agree with me. Like that, that wasn't like an absurd choice. Most people would probably pick that. Uh, some people picked bigger complexity, but I just, I didn't think so. But yeah, overall, this was a pretty good stage. And then we got to the champion stage. Now this is where um, 
the meat of the analysis is going to go because here I'll tell you exactly what I was thinking because knowing how these teams. So um, they got drawn complexity versus MIBR, big versus Navi, Team Liquid versus Hellraisers, and Astralis versus FaZe. So let's go through each of these. Complexity versus MIBR. This one was probably probably the toughest pick for me personally. And I'll tell you why. So Complexity came in here hot. They made it 3-0 through the group stage, I'm pretty sure. So they were coming in really good. They beat everybody. And MIBR, obviously, they have Cold Zero for Fallen. I mean, this team, you can't count them out. I mean, these are these these are the Brazilians that won two majors, I think, not three. I think they won two. And it was the SK era, Luminosity era, you know, whatever, MIBR era, whatever. They had a little arrow to them, right? So you can't count them out, but Complexity has been on a roll. But now here's going to be, this is my lesson to all of you um, new to the pro scene. This is my, these are my wise words, because this has stayed true for almost every major, every tournament, well, not every tournament, but most majors, is these new teams in the group stages, in the lower stages, they have phenomenal, phenomenal games and performances. These newer teams, they never make it in the i think the quarters is the threshold they never perform after the quarters because these are new players new orgs yeah they're good in like with against lower teams and pub style teams because they have obviously they're pro players they have good aim but once you get to people with a stadium with thousands and thousands of people and the real pressure back in the group stages, you're like, well, if we lose, we didn't lose that much money. Whatever, we lost here or better. But now you're in the quarterfinals. Now you're like, well, now it's serious. There's money on the line. There's prestige on the line. People will see me, right? My own country is looking at me, right? So, yes, complex. And I'm right now, I'm basically speaking for Hellraisers, big and complexities are new teams with new players that nobody thought they were going to be here. And everyone had just huge expectations like i know i remember i know a csgo video I, I was watching a little series on how to get gold and this guy was just ranting about how big is so good they did so good in the challenges and grouping we haven't even seen what they had yet and he picked them all the way to win they picked them to win like guys no these newer teams they don't win they show up in group stages because there's not a lot of pressure on them the second they get to the real stages against the real opponents and especially back in the group and challengers, they were best of ones. Best of ones are easier to upset than best of threes has been proven. So the reason I got the champion stage 100% is because I use that mentality of usually the veterans win. If the veterans, l let me say it this way. If the veterans and the new players are the same skill, the veterans always win. The only way the new players win is if they have exponentially more ex more more skill than the veterans. In this case, like Fnatic, like let's just say, uh, like the Hellraisers Fnatic, where Fnatic got eliminated, Hellraisers made it through. In that case, Hellraisers Issa and Woxic, they clearly had more skill um, than like Draken, so they made it through. The veterans lost, but that's just because they had a lot more skill. So now I'll kind of go complexity versus MIBR. I took it to the veterans. I said, yay, although he's a great player, he's a funny meme, I like him, he played good, he won't be able to stand up to uh, Cold Zero. No way. Right? Rifle against rifle on a big stage, no way. So I thought, th again, this was my hardest choice because I did want to go with complexity. And actually, I switched them one or two times, but then I ended up going with MIBR. Big versus Navi, same story. These are, okay, Big isn't like new pl players. Obviously, they have God B. He's been on the scene for six, six seven years. But they did have Smuya, which is a new f uh, new player, which did amazing in the group stage. He was actually a Brit. Um, um, yeah, and obviously this major was done in London, so everyone was like, Smuya, there was Chani Smuya. Smuya was just a thing. But um, same mentality. Um, Navi, veterans, they had Zeus. He won a major with Gambit. Uh, simple, best player to ever touch the game. Flamey, he was he did pretty good this tournament. Uh, he's a very emotional player. He's either on or off. It just happened. He was on this tournament. And who am I forgetting? I whatever. I'm oh electronic. Uh, mini simple. I would dare even say he's probably as good as simple nowadays. He he was simple is the best player of all time because he's consistently. But electronic is he's pretty spicy. I gotta give it to him. Uh, but easy Navi pick. Um, this, this is the one, actually the e probably the easiest pick 
to me because everyone was like on this huge big like oh they're so good no they're not they did good earlier because they were in the group stage now it's the real deal and guess what they didn't lose they lost how long am i going 15 minutes they lost horribly navi stomped them into the dirt like it was I, actually even that's an insult to not like they they didn't they don't exist right they don't exist right big is whoa. liquid versus hot razors this was probably i would say because i know i said the big and navi was the easiest this was actually the easiest but second whatever for these are the two easy ones right because Hellraiser's put up a good fight against people like Fnatic, you know, but they became like three and two. Liquid stomped everybody up until now. Everybody. You go through here, they won every single game. They stomped. They went 3 0 in the challengers. They went 3 0 in the group stage. They were looking nuts. Alige performing. Uh, he, Alige always performs. He's, he's the standard of NA. He's the core of NA. He, he's always good. Um. Twists, out of his mind recently. He's been playing. Now, in my opinion, my favorite player, the one who performed the best to me was Naf. 100%. Naf is nuts. This major overall was very boring. There just doesn't no graffiti clips or anything. But Naf had some disgusting shots. So definitely Naf, like 100%. Um, my favorite player. He, everyone was firing on all cylinders. The only person that I don't think performed was Taco. Throughout every single map, Taco was at the bottom of the leaderboard. Now, it could be because of his role, but he did not play very well overall. So, uh, easy. Hellraisers, they weren't going to win. Straight up. Liquid, too dominant. They weren't going to win. And then Astralis versus FaZe. A lot of people had trouble with this. Personally, I did not have any trouble with it. But I, we almost, I almost lost it. Um, FaZe is not in good form. They barely made it to the champion stage. They've lost recently a lot of tournaments they, they like i don't even know how i could speak on them because they have such a cool strong guardian best sniper for like two three years bed like you know kenny s guardian was like the kenny s a year after kenny s like that fall off they have olaf meister my favorite player of all time obviously he was with Fnatic for a while he is my personal favorite and he's still good right nico if not simple is the best player of all time nico is definitely the best player of all time um rain um a consistent rifler overall he's he has his bad games he has good games but he's consistent right and kerrigan uh obviously kerrigan was one of the founding members of astralis uh old tsm before astralis in-game leader amazing in-game leader has been one of the best a low fragging in-game leader but one of the, a good in-game leader right so this team is stacked. They have the best players, legendary players. They have three players that can be considered the best of all time in their periods, right? And two solid riflers. But they just, they're, they're not, they're, they're not doing, I don't know why they're not doing it. They're not. And then obviously Astralis. I mean, I'm not going to even talk about it. Everybody knows Astralis. They have Glaive. A lot of people don't say this. I've come to this conclusion. I don't care. Anyway. Glaive, best in-game leader of all time. Most in-game leaders usually have a, a lower stat line than most of their players because obviously the in-game leader adds a lot of pressure. This guy outfrags his star players while in-game leading. It's been proven throughout the entire he is outfragging his star players. You can't like this guy is nuts. He's not a, he's in-game leader, but he's I can't it's probably he's great, right? They got Dupree. Uh one of the best riflers in the game at the moment. Uh, he's clearly proven that. Device. He's their star player. By far, I, th I think he was MVP of this tournament. Just I, there's nothing to say about him. The dude is a well. He can op. He can rifle. He can do anything, right? Um, who am I missing here? Uh, who am I missing? I'm like blanking out right now. Astralis. Uh, Zipnix, decent player, right? Um, so overall, a very strong core. The thing, that, okay, now, let me d differentiate why a lot of people also had trouble with this is because Phase. The way they win is pure firepower. All of my are running in their headshots. Um, Guardian hitting his crazy flicks. Kerrigan with 200 IQ plays. Well, okay, actually, that's kind of random. Whatever. FaZe wins because of firepower, right? They have best players. They go boom. They kill people. Astralis, they don't have firepower, right? Like, Zipnix isn't amazing. Um, Device, he's probably the only firepower on there. Dupree... 
but they win through pure strategy, right? These guys have such good teamwork, it's insane. They've revolutionized triple nading places, especially in places like Nuke and Inferno. These guys, I'm pretty sure there was a stat line during at some point, like, they have the highest HE grenade damage per game or round or something by almost double the team behind them. These guys, they win through pure strategy. Um, but to me, pure strategy wins over pure brawn. Uh, FaZe Clan, easiest pick of my life. Astralis, 100%. So now we go to the quarters. Is that the quarters? The semis? Yeah, no, no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the semis. No, quarter. Semis. Right. 200 IQ. MLBR versus Navi. And then Liquid versus Astralis. Now, here is where I'm going to bring up the principle of veteran versus new. Liquid was completely dominant, but they were completely dominant in a different form than complexity or big, right? These guys show dominance, but against the good teams, like Astralis. They beat Astralis in the best of one. They beat 3-0, right? I don't know, and it's something different because Elyse has proven himself time and time again to be a great player. Naf, he's out of this world, right? So in complexity, I don't know. I guess you could say they're the same, but to me, Team Liquid showed good games, but solid games. People like Complexity and Big, they showed good games, but... A well-executed plan could completely foil them, which ended up happening. But now it's against Astralis, the number one team in the world. Te I don't think the this, this explosive firepower team can beat veterans in team play like Astralis. Liquid is amazing, but they can't beat the number one because they're number one for a reason. They don't have trouble dealing with explosive power. Obviously, they can take care of Navi, which they did in the final. MIBR, and I guess now Liquid and FaZe, these are explosive teams. There's a reason they keep beating them. Because the team play always trumps that. So, it was pretty easy for me. Uh, Astralis were going to beat Liquid. Now, if we're talking personally what team I wanted to win the tournament, I wanted Liquid to win. Because I loved how NAF played. Elige, Elige deserves it. Uh, Taco, I, I'm not going to even talk about it. I don't like him. But th these guys deserved it. So I wanted them to win. But um, 200 IQ, they weren't going to. I wanted them to win. They weren't going to. So Astralis, pretty easy pick. And then MIBR versus Navi. This was a pretty hard one because MIBR defeated Complexity pretty convincingly. And Navi beat big very convincingly so both of these teams came in but they didn't really show much because again complexity new new players to champion stage very new yay they weren't going to perform well big and complexity both did not perform well so it didn't really show anything out of neither teams but simple against big was popping off flamey was popping off zeus was having good calls 200 iq electronic popping off and then mibr they were popping off but I just, I don't, I can't get on this Brazilian, I can't, man, I can't. Fallen's a good player. Coldzera is a legendary player. Fur is a good player. Tark and Stewie, they, they obviously won the last major with Cloud9, but they, they're they so unorganized. They're so messy. I don't know. Like, a lot of people say, they're obviously, like, they're very strategic. I There's messy play, man. I don't think this roster works. Like, Stewie, I was the guy known to run through smokes for giggles, and Tarek, like, an NA in-game leader with fallen like a super strategic brazilian play like i just they don't i don't know they don't mix in my brain they don't mix um i personally am not a big fan of mibr and none of this is and again a lot of you guys are probably gonna be like oh well, you picked navi because you're biased against mibr you're a little bit right but i did look strategically like who is going to win like who is better at the moment and it clearly seemed Navi is more dominant, and there's also a reason they're the number one, they're number two team. So I picked them to go past in my BR. Now, the grand finals Navi versus Astralis. Now, this was a pretty, I want to say coin flip. In my brain, it was 75 Astralis, 25 Navi. Now, let me explain it, right? There's the easy part to explain is Astralis. Look, Astralis is Astralis, they're number one, they always perform, blah, blah, blah. They don't drop off. So there's a standard, right? This is how good Astralis. Now, the real factor is how good Navi was going to be. Are they going to be above and win or are they going to be below? 
coming into the tournament, they looked explosive. Obviously, simple popping off, electronic popping off, Zeus 200 IQ, whatever. They looked great. But Navi has a tendency of choking. So it was it was one of two ways. Navi chokes, Astralis wins. Navi blows Astralis' head off with simple, right? And they ended up choking, right? This was pro this was a super poor performance from Navi. Um, I know Simple lost in another grand final um, to, I think, I don't know, I th it might have been Luminosity at the time. Yes, it was Luminosity at the time. And I'm pretty sure he lost another grand final. Um, but, yeah, they, they have the tendency of choking. That's the main point. I was really hoping that they would come in and have a super great grand final because they've been so well up until this point. And they have showed good games, but in the final, they did not show up. Um, Zeus was just making, I wouldn't say bad calls, but just... Because that, that's the thing, is it's hard to make bad calls against Astralis. The, Astralis outplays you, you know? Um, it was just as, as simple as Astralis was beating them in every way, shape, or form. Killing them through smokes, outplaying them, outfragging them. In a 1v1 rifle, 1v1 op, Astralis was winning. The main thing is simple. It did not show up. Very disappointing. I hate. I hate that he didn't. Simple did not show up. Simple as that. Electronic was trying his best. Flamey had the highest KD of the grand final or of Navi through the grand finals. He tried his best. Zeus he couldn't call better than Astralis if Simple wasn't firing. So just ended up being that Simple failed. Um, yeah, it sucks. Um, Overall, this pick'em was personally easy. I actually got the gold even before the grand finals. So the pick'em to me was pretty easy, in my opinion. Although, a lot of people would guess disagree because I'm in the top 3%. But, yeah, a lot. This was, pro this was a good major to me. But, I mean, I always love majors. A lot of people on Reddit especially are saying this was the worst major of all time. Uh, this was like the Liquid SK uh made grand finals where it was like well obviously sk were gonna be liquid liquid just had a dream run and in this case it would it would have been a great grand final navi and stralis number one number two teams it should be like an, a legendary match but navi just did not show up and ended up being 2-0 towards astralis pretty convincingly it was like 16-8 and like 16 something else pretty badly there was no contest astralis was beating them throughout the entire thing so it ended up being a pretty boring grand final. But they beat him pretty convincingly, right? But I personally enjoyed it. I know a lot of people didn't. I personally enjoyed it. We can and we can actually go through here. So yeah, this these are the two matches. They played on Nuke and Overpass. 16-9, 16-6. Pretty convincing. We go through here. In the Overpass game, like I said, Flamey was up at the top. Um and Zipnix and Glaive. Like I said, Glaive is a really good in-game leader and then surprisingly divide well i can't say he's at the bottom because I mean, obviously magics and but you know and then over here uh flamey he did fine but like i said simple was not popping off simple was not simple he didn't do that good either way you can kind of see these stat lines they yeah, yeah they didn't really show up but yeah i think that's pretty much it overall pretty good i got the gold pretty convincingly this time these are the other majors now i'm wondering where to when um, we get the medals a little bit later yeah i'll go i'll scroll through these one more time just so you guys can see what i did what was my thing i'm really sad that um mouse didn't go further i really wanted to see rops and sunny go further i'm really sad that they didn't i'm really sad that fanatic didn't get into the champion stage i mean i'm a fanatic fanboy um it would have been nice to see cloud nine obviously they won the last major but they didn't and yeah, um, that's going to be it. I'm going to be opening these in the next video, probably coming tomorrow. So yeah, guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed my analysis a little bit. I have i don't know how good it was, but that was my thought process. So yeah, thanks for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to like and comment as a person channel. And I will see you guys later. God bless and goodbye.